Hey, this is Princess Corner, and I'm coming with another video. Uh, Prince Peeps, Prince Fam, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm coming with another video, and today I'm taking a look at uh, Prince's glamorous life and Sheila's glamorous life. And I'm going to do it again like I did with Sex Shooter. Which one of you guys like better? Which one are you referred? Uh, over uh, which one is the better track or the better version uh, let's take a look at it first we're going to break down the history and some info on the song alright The Glamorous Life is a song written by Prince recorded by singer percussionist Sheila E and produced by both the song has lyrics which reflected a synonym, uh, synonym for the decadence and materialism of the song's protagonists, referred to in the third person who wants to lead a glamorous life, although she is aware that without love, it ain't much. <laughs> the third person, there you go, Remus loves this. <laughs> Okay. Originally intended to be recorded by Apollonia 6, The Glamorous Life is the title track and closing song on Sheila E's debut solo album and reached number seven on the U.S. pop charts. Oh, yeah, it was a hit. And as well as number one on the U.S. dance charts and earned two Grammy Award nominations and three MTV Award nominations. And it went to number nine on the uh, black charts or a hey, R&B charts, whatever you want to call it. Sheila E's live performance of the song became memorable events. It was real memorable. Most notable, I'm <clears throat> sorry, most notable for her percussion solo towards the end of the song, depending on the occasion. She would either spin around several times while drumming without missing a beat during the rigorous solo, place one highly elevated foot on a snare while standing on the other leg mid low. Uh, mid solo, sorry, or perform with glow in the dark drumsticks. While the solo featured in the song helped to bolster Sheila E's fame, all subsequent versions of the song have no drum solo. She performed this song as part of Ringo Starr and his All Star Band during the 2001 3 6 tours. And in 2019, the original Prince demo of the song was released on his posthumous album originals yes and that's what we're gonna get into the originals and which version do you like best which version is better uh to me i think she lee's version is better uh hey man i listened to this song so much back in the day back in 84 uh when it came out and when it came out it was a hit man uh, especially around my neighborhood, I can remember um, uh, neighbor across the street. Um, God rest his soul, Angelo he used to love to sing this song, and I don't think he was in the press at all. But he loved to sing this song. All I heard when he say, "Money only pays the rent," and uh. It was a hit, man. Uh, she Lee was sexy, and she she was the one that really was the Prince protege because she had his every movement, uh, the dance moves, the style. She incorporated his songs better than any of his proteges. You know, hey, Morris Day did a good job too, but. She Lee did, and uh, this was a great track. I, th I think she did a better job because it had those drums, and it had even you listen to the album verse, you, you hear that them horns. Prince didn't have a lot of horn section, you know, back then he always used um, 
keyboards for the horns. So you hear that, you hear a different tone because everybody would link everything to the Minneapolis sound and you know, this didn't sound like the Minneapolis sound. And he convinced he didn't have nothing to do with it, but it did not sound like he had that much to do with it, but hey, <laughs> everybody was wrong. But back then, uh, this song was a hit because of uh, She Lee. Prince version, I like it. I like it, but it's not better than She Lee's version. So um, I think Prince uh, vocals, I, I like the horns and everything, but I think he more laid back on this track. But She Lee tore this song up, man. And. Hell, uh, like I say, Sex Shooter, uh, Apollonia 6, or Vanity 6 wouldn't have nothing on uh, The Glamour's Life. This was her song. So this is all, this is going to be always her signature song. This is hers. Prince wrote, produced, but this is her song. She always got to close with this song. So which one is better? the glamorous life you know i rated you know i give glamorous life a nine nine plus and you know i'm not going to rate prince's version because he wrote this song but his version is not better so he gave that one away and that was a good giveaway because she made it work she had a hit with it and she took it all the way to the grammys didn't win a Grammy, but she took it all away. So, hey, man, um, more props tour. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get to that originals review, review the whole album. But I'm going to sign off now. Say peace. God bless. And like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you can find me on Twitter. I'll talk a little bit more about prince's music a lot of other things so i'm gonna uh, say uh peace and thank you and take care of yourself god bless